presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Phil in Puerto Rico. Hey, Phil, what's going on? Hey, Tom, doing great. Um, just wanted to thank you guys and the whole crew. Best content on the internet. Really appreciate everything you guys are doing. We appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. Phil, how did you find us? I just typed in live trading in YouTube one morning. Cool. I was looking for any type of live trading room you guys came up in. The, awesome. I know quality when I see it, or at least I like to think so. And uh, I mean, you guys are just a dream. I appreciate everything well, you guys do. Welcome to the Tiger family. We appreciate your growling uh, problem with us. Uh, my pleasure. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, filling in for my dad, Tom O'Brien. He's out today. He'll be back tomorrow. And we got markets right now. Slightly mixed. We got the S&Ps off by 11 points. We make a high of 57.98. S&Ps close at record territory yesterday. We're about 11 points off that price level right now, or about two tenths percent in the red, trading at 57.79. NASDAQ 100 in the green. By 20, you got the Dow. Negative by about seven tenths percent, or 284 points in the red. You see the slide in the Dow. This is a five minute chart we're looking at. From 42.6 and change down to 42,313. We we're as low as almost 42,200 in the last couple hours. And you have the Russell off by about 1% right now. As I mentioned in that three o'clock update, how about the dollar, right? You talk about some strength, man, and not really hitting gold just yet. Dollar reaches almost 101 from 100.30 today. Quite an acceleration, to put it lightly. And in that time frame, we've seen yields rise a little bit, right? We had nine o'clock, not really trying to find a reason that dollar, but pretty remarkable that no reaction to the gold contract considering now, yes, there's been some reaction, but not really. You've seen that pullback from 26.92 down to 26.74 on that dollar strength. But just like that, we're right back to where we were at 9 a.m. this morning when the dollar was a lot weaker than it uh, is right now. Pretty interesting. You got silver. Off by 29 cents, trading at 32.14. We're as high as 32.61 yesterday. My dad had a great interview with Fred Ernest from Vista Gold yesterday. If you didn't check that out, you can always find that right on our YouTube page. Uh, and he asked Fred about even silver, right? Silver, its uses, um, excuse me, its performance versus gold recently. And one of the things he talked about, you know, silver, it's got... Um, a lot more practical applications, even than gold. But if you want to check that out with friends from Vista, right on our YouTube page, just search TFNN, folks. You can find it. And, yeah, let's jump around to what we got going on today. And we're going to kick things off with Meta. So Meta up by 1.8%. We hit a high of 576.88. And for some context here, we're at 88 bucks, less than two years ago. You back it up even further than that. We peak out at a high of 388. On the highs of 2021 with the market, you trade lower, and boy, it is quite a run, man. You're talking about record highs today. We're trading right now at 573, and as I mentioned, you were size 576.88, and they've got an event going on. And what are they talking about? They're talking about virtual reality. They're talking about glasses. They're talking about the future. Meta unveils $299 Quest 3S VR headset. And uh, the glasses, a little bit more intriguing on my end. Everybody knows that they make a Quest. I've talked about it, talked about it. I got a Quest for Christmas. I think it was almost two years ago right now. I want to say it was Christmas 2022. Yeah, which would have been about a couple years right now. And it's pretty cool. I talk about it. It's pretty cool. Um, but how do you create the revolution right and that's what they failed to do so far nonetheless they're bringing the price back down now what's interesting is when i got it it was 299 it was a decent deal it's christmas whatever they jacked up the price to 499 i remember saying geez that puts in a little bit of a different price bucket when you think about I don't have any real use for it. It's pretty cool. I got it for a present, folks, but $500, uh, let alone the Apple's $3,500 Apple Vision Pro headset. But yeah, they're going to launch a new version at $299. It's going to go on sale October 15th, and that's going to be down from their $499 price point. $65 billion, right? They acquire Oculus Quest in 2014, and they have poured $65 billion into expenses in its hardware efforts, and he's had to defend that. What's even more interesting, though, I think, is the, the glasses. Nobody's going to want to wear these headsets around, folks. Nobody. Uh, 
you put it in glasses, it's going to be pretty cool. Uh, they're going to have a few more. Now, these are Ray Ban, Ray Ban right? You, you pair up with the right partner, man. Ray Ban sunglasses, and they've already sold 700,000 of them. I'm trying to find exactly where they said it. I'll pull it up. And they're going to have new versions here. Early concept of what those glasses could look like. Called Orion. Won't be sold to consumers, but Meta says they'll be used internally. I mean, that's where it's coming, man. The glasses are the deal. Meta does sell a pair of glasses with built-in camera. Yeah, and they did a deal with Luxottica. Ray-Ban Meta, $299, announced in 2004. 23, and I talked about these earlier in the week on my program. 730,000 units they've sold. Nobody even knows about them, right? A million units almost they've sold of those Ray Ban Meta glasses. That's the future, man. You're going to have, you know, no one's going to be able to see that you're overlaying holograms over reality, augmented reality. Nonetheless, the market likes what they're talking about today. You got Meta shares up by 1.6% right now. You jump over to NVIDIA shares. Quite an acceleration for them yesterday. Extending those gains today up another 2.2% to 123.49. You were up to 124 yesterday. Talked about on my program this morning. We were at 116 on Monday. Late yesterday, excuse me. We were at 116 early yesterday. NVIDIA has 25 billion shares outstanding, folks. 25 billion. You're up $8 and change from the lows of just yesterday morning, which is $200 billion in market cap added to this equity just in the last 24 hours or so. Pretty remarkable when you talk about that company. You got Microsoft out there up by about six tenths percent today, trading at 431. Google shares slightly in the red. We jump over to Apple, the big dog, down by 1%, trading at 225. We check in on Amazon shares, down about a half a percent right now to 193 for Amazon. And we check back in on that gold contract, sitting at 2685. And boy, it is pretty remarkable. You take a look at gold. You put that thing on the weekly, and we're almost extending to a completion of a of an A to B, C to D formation, though. You know, your run starts at about 2,000. You trade up to 2,400. You consolidate for a period of about three or four months. And then what have we done? Well, depending on where you take that acceleration, you could make the case that 2,300 to 2,700 would be another 400-point run. If you're taking that leg from 400... Yeah, we're at 2,700, man. Pretty remarkable. That run beginning just at the end of February and the beginning of March when you had gold sitting just above 2,000. Pretty remarkable. And we check back in on the dollar because, yeah, you talk about it, man. Look at these bars chopping around. Volatility following the Fed last week. We're sitting at 100.91. And as I mentioned, we get the 10-year yield right now climbing to 3.79 now. 3.79, the yield on the 10-year. We got Micron with their earnings after the bell today. So this will be an interesting one. We've traded higher this week with the market. Not Micron up by 1.3% right now. You jump over to the Analyze tab. We take a look at the options. And what are we pricing in? What are we? What is the market pricing in? The market's pricing in $9.62 of volatility in either direction by Friday's close. That is a 10% move. And most of it having to do with their earnings after the bell tonight. Micron, we'll see where they go. They're up by 1.3% today, though. And uh, stay tuned, folks. We're going to be coming back. We'll come back with our man, Elliot Wallenbach. We'll be talking to him, senior um, vice president with Direction. We'll talk some markets. We'll talk some gold. Stay tuned. We'll be right back, folks. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archive live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. The stock market is a delicate, interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. 
But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. Building wealth trading in the stock market seems impossible to most people. They think it's too volatile and risky. Most people aren't going to take the time to educate themselves on how to do it right. But you're not most people, are you? At TFNN, you'll get the guidance you need to refine your strategies and techniques to invest like a pro. Because you'll be a pro. All TFNN subscriptions, books, software, and courses are available at TFNN.com. And I'm even going to tell you how to get them for less. Use TFNN's Tiger Dollars and you'll get up to a 20% bonus on your purchase. And once you apply them to your account, Tiger Dollars are automatically used for all future or recurring charges. Tiger Dollars also never expire, are fully transferable, and are a great way to add savings to your newsletters or services. Become the investor you were born to be at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. We got a mixed market right now. Market is digest digesting, I should say, the action of last week with the Fed. And we got the S&Ps right now just off all time highs of 5798. You got gold making all time highs as well. To talk about some of the market action, we're going to jump over to our man, Elliot Wallenbach. Folks, Elliot is senior vice president with Direction. You can check out Direction's variety of ETFs. Just click on that banner on the front page of TFNN. And let's jump right into it. Elliot, good afternoon. Welcome back to TFNN. Hey, thank you for having me. Excited to be back with you guys. Boy, do we got enough to talk about in this market in terms of where we are across the board? Um, I know, you know, it's not difficult to say where do we start, but boy, we got action everywhere in this market. But I wanted to, to ask you to kick things off, if I could. Uh, China. We're getting lots of headlines out of China with stimulus. We got quite a package coming out a couple of days ago. We have new headlines today. I know you guys at Direction have some ETFs having to do with China, but I know we get investors out there, myself included. You know, I'm looking at some of these equities. Um, it's been quite a tough road, but boy, maybe maybe we got some action. But but what do you think about China going on over in some of the stimulus and the action, of course, with their equities? Yeah, no, definitely. Uh, pretty big news coming out of China, like you mentioned uh, earlier this week. We saw a pretty substantial stimulus package trying to boost their economy, stabilize the real estate market. You know, we saw a mixture of uh, the PBOC cutting mortgage rates, reducing minimum down payment for home buyers, um, you know, also cutting short term uh, interest rates, uh, and also just. Uh, about 113 billion of liquidity support for equities. Um, and we even saw them double down again today with uh, the PBOC again, cutting the one year rate by 30 basis points. So there's been a lot of movement in uh, Chinese equities uh, this week, uh, especially around this news. And also actually it's uh, impacted the, uh, the broader uh, you know, global financial market as well. But you know, as you mentioned, we have uh, tradable uh, products, leverage and inverse. These are short-term tactical trading tools. Um, but we have a uh, FTSE uh, 50 uh, China uh, 3x ETF. Yin is the uh, bull, Yang is the bear. And just to give you a little insight into some of the flows we've seen uh, last week uh, leading into this, uh, Yang, which is our triple inverse off of the China uh, 50 FTSE, uh, it has been the top 10 inflows last week and also year to date because, you know, as we've seen with Chinese equities in general, it's been a pretty bumpy road. So we've seen a lot of traders coming into the bear side uh, trying to take okay. action of that. 
Interesting in terms of pulling up the chart. Uh, obviously, we've gotten quite a little bounce here. So Yang pulling back a bit. Um, but it looks like you're seeing some data. And I appreciate you sharing it with us because there's nothing like that data in terms of what people are doing with their investments. Um, investors, maybe not just yet, convinced that this might be enough to send those equities higher potentially. It is interesting. And you mentioned that number, which is pretty cool, the liquidity number, right? Just over $100 billion they were putting in there. And you know, when some of the articles I was reading were saying, you know, this isn't some type of bazooka plan. They're trying to do it without that. But I find it so interesting when you get the type of volatility we get in the tech sector now, where $100 billion, I was almost joking, it's not what it used to be when a, an equity like NVIDIA can gain $200 billion in market cap in 24 hours. Um, but intriguing. Nonetheless, they get a bounce. So yin and yang, easy symbols. I always remember those ones. Uh, we got to talk a little bit of yields if we could, of course. So the Fed begins with 50 basis points. Uh, investors, you know, there's the yields. It's, it is interesting, the move we've gotten yields over that that you know the last week or so it's been a week now and they cut by 50 basis points meanwhile we've seen the 10-year maybe tick up a little bit actually go up in yield if you can talk to us a little bit because i know you got etfs everywhere and especially with that tmf among others but um what are you seeing in yields what are you thinking about yields as we pivot to a cutting cycle yeah no definitely i i think uh you know 50 basis points we had some banks out there predicting that, but I'd say most, uh, that was that came as a surprise. Uh, most were thinking 25 for last week. Of course, we saw the 50. Uh, you know, we're kind of seeing proactive, um, you know, Fed kind of uh, not trying to fall behind the curve on the economic data uh, that we're seeing slowing and, uh, you know, unemployment. Um, and so right now we have uh, the swaps market. Uh, traders are pricing in about another 75 uh, basis point cut throughout the, the rest of the year. Of course, that is subject to change and that's speculative, but we do have uh, treasury uh, ETFs. We have TMF, TMV, that's a 20 plus year treasury, both triple leverage, TMF is a bull, TMV is a bear. Um, but interestingly enough, we've also seen a lot of uh, movement in some equities where uh, that are have been a bit more rate sensitive, um, you know, such as small cap, um, you know, much sure. more rate sensitive relative to large and mega cap tech names. We saw a you know a strong bounce uh, last week in that, and now you know kind of a little bit of a pullback. Um, but you know, going back to the flows uh, that I mentioned, I always find this uh, interesting. Uh, TNA, which is our triple leverage uh, ETF off of sm uh, small caps, and then TZA is the triple inverse. TNA had the top 10 inflows in the past three months. So that's kind of, you know, traders looking uh, for a reversion to the mean, which we did see last week. Uh, but last week specifically, uh, TZA, TCA, the triple inverse, had the third most inflows out of our entire suite of ETFs, and TNA, the bull fund, had uh, was top three for outflows. So that's Oof, that's what we great like information, to see man. Is Thank short -term you. Short-term traders is. taking profit there, um, and then also taking the you know the shorter view. Maybe a little bit of buy, buy the rumor, sell the news, right? They were buying until they actually got that 50 basis point cut, and then maybe they were selling a bit. Um, um, and I'm generalizing, but yeah, that is that is great data, man. And and we will see. It is it is remarkable how many cuts the market has priced into this market right now. But as we know, the market's been wrong a couple times, and, and we get to see it play out, which is pretty cool. And I want to jump to gold. You know, we got a lot of gold bugs that listen, of course, Elliot, and, uh, you know... It, it seems like every day I do my show and I say, folks, we got a record in gold, all time highs. And, you know, but another one today, man, we're almost at twenty seven hundred. Talk to us a little bit about gold. You guys got some great gold ETFs, of course. What are you seeing in gold with this run to, to higher prices? And this might be not the beginning, but it is remarkable. We're at the beginning of that cutting cycle and still you have gold uh, right there near twenty seven hundred. Yeah, gold is having a record year right now. Um, and, I, you know, exactly what you mentioned uh, I feel like every time I've been on uh, this show that uh, <laughs> gold is hitting an all-time uh, you know new high or you know all you know for the year at least. Um, so yeah, we've definitely seen a bid from the Fed last week with that rate cut, um, and then also um, we've seen global uncertainty, uh, just geopolitical, sure. um, some uh, you know fighting going on as well. Um, in different countries that creates a little uncertainty around gold and that's kind of that flight to safety trade and as you mentioned we don't have gold specific ETFs but we have uh, double leverage ETFs off of the gold miners so 
The bull fund, uh, N-U-G-T, uh, is uh, our 2X bull fund off the gold miners. Dust is the 2X inverse. Uh, and then we also have the junior gold miners as well. That is J-N-U-G uh, for the bull fund and J-D-S-T for the bear fund. Um, and, uh, you know, just going a little bit back into the flows, I think, you know, some people like to see it. Uh, you know, dust was uh, top five uh, for inflows last week, even though when we saw that bounce in not only Oof. gold, but the gold miners themselves. So, again, okay. you know, taking profits, um, you know, what we're seeing. All right. I, I want I want to hear him buy a nugget, not not dust. I kid. But that yeah. is great information. It makes sense, man. It is quite a run. Gold up 30 percent. Elliot, thank you so much for the time, man. We appreciate the update and we look forward to having you on again next time. OK, thank you. Thanks so much. Appreciate Folks, check out that direction banner. We'll be right back. Newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. The consistency you're looking for is closer than you think. One or two adjustments are usually all you need to change your equity curve from red to green and keep it there. Come join Larry Pesavento Live to learn what separates the winners from the losers. Join Larry Pesavento on the second and fourth Friday of every month for three hours of live trading from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern Time, where Larry will show you the market setting up and most important of all, the state of mind of a winning trader. By watching Larry trade, you'll learn the Fibonacci levels, you'll learn how to apply A to B to C to D trading patterns, you'll learn trade management, pattern recognition, and much more. Join Larry August 9th and 23rd for more live trading action. For this month only, use code LARRYOG24 at checkout to save $50 off your first month as a subscriber to Live Trading Fridays for his live trading sessions, where you'll sit right beside him as he trades the market live. For this month only, enter code LARRYOG24 and save $50 off your first month. For all the information and to reserve your spot today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. This portion of the Tom O'Brien Show is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Welcome back, folks. We got the S&Ps right now, negative by 15. NASDAQ barely holding on to those positive gains, up by 8. Yeah, I got Nugget up here, man. Those miners, you talk about it. This is the double... 
exposure from direction and uh the two times on the gold miners and yeah it's been quite a run man you kick off the year at about 34 dollars, you make it down to 23 and we're trading at 53 dollars and 66 cents right now and then the inverse of that of course dust uh, love to hear those inflow no, inflow and outflow numbers from Elliot because, boy, I mean, that's what makes a market, folks. Are people buying or are they selling? And you just heard it. So that's going to put the spikes up on my back a little bit because when you look at the Russell, right, the trends that have been intact, we are at a focal point potentially where the bit Fed has begun cutting. There's been quite a lead up. Uh, yeah, I was not in the 50 camp, right? So how are they going to do that? What are they going to say as to why they didn't cut six weeks prior and then they come in and they cut 50 well chairman powell explained it he had to and he said there were a couple jobs numbers in between there right there were a couple non-farm payroll numbers in there etc um but nonetheless it is interesting you look at the russell those inflow outflows changing in the last week versus the last quarter as people potentially getting ready for the changing of the guard with the fed going into the cuts and uh in a similar action you had people loading up on dust coming into the last week as in boy it's been a historic run you got gold chopping around near 2700 but for those that have been in and that's you know we're talking about the miners we're not even talking about the metal there so you know you're in those miners and you've held for that run this year you've been rewarded handsomely and maybe there's it's time you know you're above the highs in terms of nugget and this this is not a fair comparison because when you look at it what does happen of course when you get the double and triples, okay? They're daily investment vehicles, folks, okay? You know, this nugget, direction daily. Gold miners index bull two times shares, N-U-G-T. It even says it in the name. Because when you start investing for longer periods of time in these double and triples, your rewards might not be as correlated on a longer term basis because they are daily gold miners we've done a webinar on that before maybe we'll do another one talking about those because i know people talk about that all the time and not that they don't quite understand it right but you have a tendency to say i just want to hold it and that's not quite how it works with these um daily investment vehicles that are multiples two times three times etc but boy it has been quite a run and uh yeah as i was joking around with elliot right i want to hear people are plowing money into nugget but you can understand why they're not doing it when you look at this chart of gold 1600 to 2700 over this period of less than two years yeah you talk about a run man now you want to make the case for a bigger run though you took a look at this gold contract on a monthly basis okay pretty remarkable you make the run it begins right around when my dad started that gold report folks 23 years ago now probably right what's the date we're gonna have to get it nonetheless gold from about 260 up to 1916 okay so you're talking about about a 1650 dollar leg up and if you take that 1650 dollar leg up and you begin it from where you were in 2016 that puts you just above where we are right now so you're getting in some critical areas man you know you really are it doesn't mean you're going to run out because it's intriguing when you look at where we are on the cutting cycle what's potentially going to happen with the dollar right you take a look at the dollar and what's intriguing here on the dollar is, yeah, you take a look at this dollar in the last three years, right? And you say to yourself, okay, well, we've come down dramatically, right? You were at 115 when we were the ones hiking. And not that we were the only game in town, but boy, the U.S. had a yield. We were the ones first to hike. Then different parts of the world hiked. Everybody wanted U.S. dollars. You had the dollar pull back in anticipation of cuts that never came. They came now, but they came about a year, year and a half later than the market wanted. But we're right back to where we originally accelerated to in 2023 when the market was trying to convince Powell that the cuts were coming. Now, you look at this chart and you say, OK, well, geez, we're back from 115. Even if the cuts come, they're priced in. And of course, they are priced in to a certain degree. But what I keep looking at is, all right, if we're in a higher for longer, it doesn't matter what we're in. Things are a little bit different. OK. And even a higher for longer, it doesn't mean that you look at this chart and the only time that gold, that, excuse me, the dollar has been above where we are right now is just the last few years going back to 2002. Any time before that, we had a weaker dollar across the board as low as 70. You know, you break below this area, right? I was talking to Teddy Kegstat. We had a great interview this morning on my program. You can check that out on our YouTube channel, folks. Just search TFNN. We got 18,000 subscribers out there. Hit that subscribe button. Okay, um, 
hit that like button. Get us some more likes and subscriptions if you can while you're over there checking it out. But everything we do, Teddy's interview, it's up there. And he was talking about this critical area in the dollar. You break below here, and what's in play? What's in play is 90 without even thinking about it, right? You break below this area, and that's the area on a monthly. We just saw it on a weekly. That low is 99.57. We were almost flirting with that today, okay? You break below that area, and 90 is in play. And, and if 90 is in play... Watch out for that gold contract, man, because, you know, it doesn't mean they always move in unison, but you get a weaker dollar going from 100 to 90, very hard pressed that you wouldn't get another leg up in that gold contract. And maybe in the nice round number, 3,000 is sitting out there. We're trading at 2,700 right now, almost in that gold contract. All right. I mentioned we got Micron after the bell today. Micron up about 1.2%. And yeah, if you're checking out in terms of what type of volatility we're dealing with, almost a 10% move. And boy, it's been quite a pullback for them. From 157 down to 95. We check in on some of the other stories of the week. Let's put it back to a daily. Intel. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a good week of news for Intel, man. You get another acceleration leg up today, up to $24. You're up by 3.4%. Uh, the fund really began last Friday. Qualcomm's a potential suitor comes out that Apollo Management is looking to invest $5 billion for an equity deal in them. Uh, they secure more government funding and assistance in making chips. Nonetheless, you're sitting up 3.4% right now for Intel shares. AMD up by 2.6% right now. The chips are trading higher, man. Look at it. NVIDIA up by 2%. 123.42 for NVIDIA. And it is remarkable, right? 25 billion shares. Remember that. It's just under it, to be exact. It's 24.5 billion. But that rounds up to 25. It's simple math. It's up $8 off of where you were trading just up yesterday morning, which is $200 billion in market cap added. Remarkable. We check out some of the other equities. Microsoft, they're positive by 6 cents percent today. Apple slightly in the red. Amazon slightly in the red as well. All right, folks, stay tuned. We're going to come back. We'll take a look at some other equities. We'll see what we have moving. And we got the markets just off of all-time highs right now. And, yeah, I guess we make an all-time high. We're not going to get a close, though, in less than the next 22 minutes. We get about 16 points of movement. But as we know, it's a fast market, man. S&P's off by 15. NASDAQ 100 up by 17. We're going to take a look at some of the heat maps for the indices. We'll see what's moving on this Wednesday. Stay tuned, folks. We'll be right back in three minutes. No more. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter. 
a must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. We got the S&Ps right now. I'm restarting my chart screen right now. But we got S&Ps slightly in the red. It's coming up, and there we go. Uh, give me one second here, folks. Come on, there we go. Wait, one more. Pull it over here. Get it over there. Get it down there, and we're back. Okay, we got S and P's off by 18 points right now. Nasdaq 100 slightly in the green by about 10. You get the Dow off 344, and yeah, you take a look at some of the heat maps we got going on. You take a look at the S and P 500. A lot of red out there, right? You got Nvidia. They're propping it up. Three trillion dollar company up by two percent. Microsoft higher as well. Meta having their day up by 1.5 percent. But look at the action. Look at the red, right? I don't have to tell you. A lot of red on that board right now. Walmart positive by nine tenths. Testa sticks out a bit. Auto zones up by two and a quarter percent right now. Hewlett Packard up by four point seven five HPE. Let's take a look at them real quick. I think they they have their numbers, right? Or something going on. Yeah, something's I, I heard a headline for them. What do we got going on with Hewlett Packard? Let's see. Ah, forgive me. I'll pull it up, but we do. Just can't get there quick enough, unfortunately. All right, nonetheless, they got some news driving them higher. Hewlett Packard up by 4.6%. I'll pull that one up. So that's the S&P 500. You jump to the NASDAQ 100. NVIDIA again, powering it higher. Tesla's positive. Microsoft, Meta, Amgen in the negative by 5.6%. Yeah, Adobe off by 1.3%. Check out some of the action, right? Broadcom off by a quarter percent. And then we jump to the Dow, always intriguing, in terms of how's Home Depot doing. That's going to be a big one in the Dow, off by 1%. Amgen, yeah, there you go. That's what's driving the Dow, man. Amgen, a $312 company, or at least that's what it was now, AMGN, down $18. Here's what's so bonkers. I talk about it all the time, right? You have the Dow, a price-weighted index. So Amgen being down $18, because Intel's a member of the Dow, folks. All right, where are you? Right, around there? No, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there it is. They're the, they're the only green component, but they don't matter, because they're a $23 stock. So you got a company like Amgen that's down $18, which would be like the entire company at Intel, right? And nonetheless, when you jump over on Amgen, you jump over to the Analyze tab, we jump over to the Fundamentals, Amgen's a $168 billion company trading at 312 and you have Intel, which is a $100 billion company trading at 23 right? Yeah. And then I just wanted to finish it up. We go back to that heat map, and I want to go to the Russell 2000. Uh, you got a couple out there, and we're not going to know as many of these. Duolingo. Oh, there you go. Up by six and a quarter percent. Is AI not taking them over just yet? Let's check that one out. Look at this run, man. Look at this run. Wow. They're up by 6.7% right now. You get some price target ups. Strategic use of generative AI and large language models. Well, they're going to use the AI. That's going to how it's going to happen. You got to love it, man. All right. The other thing we got you got the gambling stocks up. DraftKings up by 5.6%. What is 
FanDuel. What is their what's their parent company? I gotta pull it up. Flutter? Is that what it is? Flutter Entertainment. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Uh to 252 to 240. So this is FanDuel, okay? Flutter. And boy, they come out, man. So this one, they got a five billion dollar share repurchase program. But they think expand that this is just going to explode. And I'm trying to find the article that talks about it because you talk about a run, man. And yeah, they're right, folks. And here's what I'll say. It's remarkable that you can, you know, and it's it's probably going to come down the line. But if you've watched the show, you know I play a, a lot of poker in my history. Poker's a skill game, folks. I enjoy betting on skill games versus betting on games of chance that you have a negative expected value. Like, for instance, blackjack, if you're not counting cards, etc. Um, roulette. All that stuff. But online poker is not legal in many of these areas. Meanwhile, people can lose their entire fortunes on sports betting, horse racing, etc. And that's probably going to change. Um, but yeah. They're looking for 14% annual growth, I think, is the number. It's a huge number. $5 billion share buyback. Yeah, they're looking for just massive revenue. Free cash flow generation of approximately $2.5 billion in 2027. Just huge numbers. They come with an upgrade that they think the business is uh, growing rapidly in the U.S. especially. And, yeah, I would agree, man. It is everywhere. And it's not going away because the states are getting their piece of the action. Same thing as cannabis. But DraftKings up by 5.7. Penn not contributing in the same way at all. They're not in the same world. It's DraftKings and FanDuel's world, man, if you're, if you're gambling on sports right now. Let's see if Disney's trading higher with ESPN at all. Eh, they're up by a quarter. Nothing too crazy. Amazon down by six tenths percent. All right, we're going to jump to the CME Fed Watch tool to talk about. I was talking with Elliot, right? Some of the pricing in terms of where we are. I talk about it on my program. If you don't watch my program, folks, every day at nine in the morning. But yeah, we've been talking about this in terms of man. You talk about pricing in the market, and this is not the holy grail. All right, I said it's not the holy grail. Doesn't mean this is happening. It's just one indication of where pricing is in the market, in terms of where. The market right now is pricing in for the Fed to be on their future meetings. You go out to June. Now, you can go out anywhere, and you just have to Google CME FedWatch tool, folks, and you can find this. It's the top Google result, and you can play with this. And you can go meeting by meeting, right? You go out to the next meeting in November. Right now, they're looking at a 60-40 probability that you go 50. And what's so intriguing was this was lining up about two to one probability the Fed was going to cut 50 basis points coming into their meeting last week. And I found myself saying, maybe the money's wrong, right? Because as Elliot said, I'm not, a lot of people weren't in that camp. I was in the camp. Hey, you find it very difficult to understand. Were things really that bad? Nonetheless, right? Well, anyway, the money was right, right? So it's saying 60 40, they're going 50 again. That's where it is right now. And you can go back in time. You want to go back in time. Things are wild. You go back a month ago. <laughs> yeah and you can see how drastically things change but nonetheless let's go out to June okay that's only six meetings from right now the current target rate is 4.75 to 5 we'll call it 4.75 the lower boundary of their range the current rate is 4 and 3 quarters percent where does the market price right now target rate probabilities for their meeting on June 18th which is only six meetings away Okay, even though it's on, on, almost nine months, they only have six meetings. And the market thinks right now that the two biggest areas it could fall in are either being down 1.75 by then or two full percentage points. And you add those two together and you're at 61.5% probability. You add in the 325 to 350, okay, and yeah, you know it. You're at 80, what did I say? Yeah, 80, you're above 80%. OK. Over six meetings. If they go 50 to start right now. That would be cutting. Every meeting after that leading up. So you could go 50 on the November 7th meeting and you could go 25 in December, January, March, May and June. And all that would do was get you to where the market's priced. So where's your risk reward? Whew, I don't know, but that is a lot of pricing and that's a lot of ways out, all right? We're nine months out. You see how wrong things are even a month ago compared to where these were priced for August 23rd, but be aware, that is some pricing. We'll be right back, folks. Stay tuned.
The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter a must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. You got the S&Ps off by 15 right now as we come into the final five minutes of trading. And yeah, looks like we're not going to close at record territory just today, but pretty close as we digest those prices. Dow off by 328. As I talked about, right, you're getting some action in Amgen off by 5.4% adding to the Dow. Home Depot is off by a full percentage point right now. That's off $4 adding to the Dow uh, in negative price points. And the Nasdaq up by 25 as you got Meta trading up by 1.3. They give it back a bit. For Meta shares, we jump over to NVIDIA, up by 2.2% for NVIDIA shares, and as I mentioned, those gambling stocks. All right, we check back in on the dollar. Quite a day for the dollar. Early in the day, we're trading at 130. We almost make 101. We're at 100.947 right now. You talk about it, right up against that level. Gold making record highs yet again today. We're going to finish up by about $7 in terms of finish that contract closing about 130 i think it is the futures contract technically the day but nonetheless you're up by seven dollars on gold right now at 26.84 and we check in on yields the 10-year backing off a bit and we get the 10-year yield yeah we're sitting right now 3.79 3.79 we're gonna see 3.8 potentially uh quite a number you see a little bit of lower price higher yield but just back into where we were yesterday on that 10-year all right. And tomorrow, because of the storm, folks, if you're in the Florida area, stay safe out there. Um, we're probably going to be closed out of an abundance of caution. We should be okay. Going to miss us to the north. If you're up there, be safe. And uh, 
you know, make sure you have some cash, folks. We often tell the story, trapped in Hurricane Katrina, my father and I. Make sure you have some cash. You know, things really, for a storm, something like that, the ATMs don't work, and uh, people don't accept credit, etc. But nonetheless, probably close tomorrow. But guess what? We're going to be in the Tiger's Den, folks. So get on over there. Right under the Services tab. If you're not in the den right now, all right, we may not be on YouTube. Get over there. Sign up for a dollar. That's just to make sure we verify your identity. We'll all be in the den tomorrow. I'll be in there during my program in the den tomorrow at 9 o'clock. Um, yeah, so we'll talk to the host. Same deal. All right, folks. Have a great night. Have a safe night. I'm going to come back to the 4 o'clock update. And then, yeah, I'll be in the Tiger's Den at 9 o'clock tomorrow morning doing the morning market update. So check that one out as well. Thanks so much, folks. Have a great Wednesday. See you tomorrow.